I've been dying for an oyster. Oh my god, we got shots. Oh yeah. Bring it on. One, two, cheers. I love drunk Melissa. <laughs> drunk Melissa's good. Oh. I feel like this Wait, is my bachelorette party. <laughs> her. Oh, and, and, uh, can show. I tell Give the story the about your bachelorette party? Please. I told my brother that she was dancing with some guy. Oh. Who goes to their brother and says, Oh, Joey, when oh we were God. at the bachelorette party, <laughs> your, your, your wife, she was dancing with a guy the whole time. Well, how were you dancing? So we were like this. <laughs> Oh my God, I love it. Wow. God, and then he was like, he knew how to like, and I was like, oh, I'm the bachelorette. This is so fun. <laughs> so horrible. Why? Because she got in trouble after Why? that? Why? Because me and Joe didn't speak for three weeks. I used to be a troublemaker. Everybody. My husband's insanely no, no, jealous also. Okay, I don't like to use the word jealous. Joe is very old school and he's big on like respect. That to me is a turn on. It's like we were discussing last yes. night. Yes. How, you know, yes. Michael wants you to, you know, cut back. Yes. And I was like, do you feel that's controlling? I think with any time that you marry a man who's a man. I didn't marry a wussy. I didn't marry a pussy. I married a man. Oh, OK. I don't even know what that means. I've looked up the word man in the dictionary. I didn't see the picture of Michael Campanella there. Now, on the other hand, I think God gave me a gift. I think I'm the most talented human being on the face of the earth. The most talented person in the world? No. Has she ever heard of Michael Jackson or like Madonna? Who's the guy who invented the light bulb? Like there's talented humans out there. I love to help people. And she's torn. Uh, I'm torn because I'm helping people and Michael Campanella's not happy. And at the end of the day, I know what I'm gonna choose. But why can't you have both? Yes, Joe would love for me to be home in the bed right. and everything else, but I also say to him, but that's what makes me happy, and this is, you know, my life. Don't cut me off at the knees. I've been through this, and I went through this last year. It's borderline controlling. Wait, Siggy, so if he knows that this is, you're so passionate yeah. about this, and He's this safe. is something you love, why does he want to take it away from you? How do you cut down okay, your passion? I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't talk Jesus. about it! Oh. If that would have went on me, I would have had a meltdown. I would have had a freak out. Never white again. I know. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. Saved by the cake. Happy birthday. Oh, it's so pretty. I had a pastry chef make a cake that was specific. Like, there's a beautiful picture of Melissa standing in her store with the beautiful wallpaper in the back that the pastry chef copied. Melissa, do you not notice? Look, wait, this wait. is the wallpaper. And then it says, look at the front of it. Oh my god, that's the wallpaper of an enemy! Oh my god! This cake is not just any cake. It was really personalized and a tribute to Melissa. I love it. So ah, thank you. you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can, I, can we just make a toast to, to yeah. Melissa? All right, I just want to say happy birthday, sister-in-law. You know, I'm so happy you're in my life. You're like the sister I never had. imagined grown woman throwing cake. This was a work of art. It wasn't just like a chocolate chip cookie cake. Just very disrespectful. So classy. I mean, seriously. All right, take it down a notch. Go yourself. <laughs> <laughs>